67 Plymouth Valiant two-door sedan. All right, give her some rev. Oh yeah. Six cylinders of fury, baby. Six cylinders of fury, oh man. Woo! Hey, it's Sunday afternoon. Happy Easter. We are back from our extended drive yesterday. Uh, if, you, if you've, uh, well, I should say this. I'm exhausted. I even took a nap today after uh, after church. Finley, are you tired? Uh, slightly. Just a little bit. But. We need to go find a battery. I'm told that this Valiant ran or runs. Uh, there's no battery for it, and I don't want to pull the one out of the coronet. And I'm going to need one for Llama Barn when I fix it. So I figured, well, might as well go snag a battery and uh, see if we can't get that uh, get that car running and off the trailer. And I think to go get a battery. We should take this. Cornet hasn't been out of the barn for a little bit. It's been raining here in Oregon. It really needs a bath, so we might. Check fluids first. Do you want to turn the lights? Uh, I think it's okay. This should be all right. We're gonna go, maybe give it a bath and go find a battery for the new project Valiant. Let's see how she starts been parked for a while. I believe in her. You do? Me too. Oh, there it goes. Good girl. There it goes. Good girl. We'll get the uh, we'll get the new Valiant off the trailer. Hopefully it'll fire up and run. I think he said there's a leak in the radiator. We'll get fill that up with some water and uh, that it needs a battery which I'm gonna go get. And man, maybe it's just a driver right off the right off the trailer, which would be kind of cool. And then I need to start getting to work on it, getting the parts off of it that I need for Llama Barn, and moving the parts off of it off of Llama Barn that I don't want back onto it, so that uh, I can get it gone. Because I think I'm just gonna take what I need and and let it go. So that's the plan this afternoon. Once again, Happy Easter. It is Sunday. I think what March 31st March, March 31st. 31st and uh, hope you guys are having a great day with family All right, the old girl's clean. Look at that. All nice and clean. All right, let's go get a battery. All right, we found a battery locally. Check the, uh, the radiator, see if it's got some juice in it. Yeah, I mean, it's not full, but it's got water. Look at how tiny that thing is. Holy moly. That's a little baby one. Check, see if it's got gas. Man, look at that. <laughs> that thing's dirty. Uh, let's check the oil. Should we? Shall we? Come on. There we go. Oh, it's nice and full. That'll work and actually somewhat clean. Check that. This is not tight. I wonder if you use some starting fluid to get it, get it fired up. 
let's see if we can get the Finley's getting a screwdriver that cap won't come off Ugh. Yeah. even twisting on it doesn't want to come off these are in great shape look at this one the black one that thinks it's red right there that's lovely that'll be great I'm sure no problem at all sarcasticness is yeah. the best Dang it. Hey, there it goes. That was much easier than it looked. All right. Let's get this on here. Let's keep it away from the fan, shall we? That ain't good. Oh, careful. Yep. Do the spark test. Make sure we don't get any. There we go. That's on. Okay. Why don't you... Let's go make sure it's in gear. Or in park, I mean. Not in gear, please. So one of the joys of this car is that it doesn't have door handles I think we talked about it yesterday check door that out handle is deleted. you can see where they used to be so you got to go through the wing window you got it buddy just don't pull it too fast you got it. I got it I got you come on around there you go just don't need okay that. have a seat in that have a seat in there oh, this is delicious. yeah those are kind of weird seats huh okay hold on so give it uh, put your foot on the does it have any gas I think so pump the gas like twice Okay, and then make sure it's in park. So is that all the way up? Yep. It shows park. Okay, let's turn the key and see what it does. So give it, a, give it a couple more pumps. There you go. That wasn't bad. So go ahead and right, fire. Oh, time. those seats aren't bo bo bolted in. I'll keep it running this yep. time. Yep. Yep. Keep your foot on the gas. Hold on. Yep. There you go. Yep, just nice, just feather it, not so hard on the gas. Okay. Just a little bit, okay? There you go, hold it. Yeah, just like that, just like that, right there. Oh, all right. No problem. A little more gas, there you go. There, hold it right like that, yes. Yep, a little, little more, a little more, it's gonna die. Hey, at least it runs, that's kind of cool. Don't Here, let me this. let me jump in and see if I can get keep it running. They suck so bad. Someone's done this a couple times. You, huh? Look at this old school tack. How cool is that? I don't think it's a 3000 RPM though. But it looks like it says it's a Signet, which I don't know. I mean, maybe it is. It's got all the nice, uh, all the nice interior. It had trim on it, which means it probably, maybe it was a Signet. Uh, does the stereo work? Negative. How about the fan? Nope, no fan. Hey Finn. Speedometer's broken. Lovely. Gotta love the ghetto steering wheel. No, it's fine. Supposedly it's supposed to, obviously it runs, but it's supposed to drive too. I guess we'll find out. Let's see, anything over here work? It doesn't look like it. I'm not sure about the trim here. Hmm. Will it idle? Nope, won't idle. Get it moving. Hey, let's, uh, while you're doing that, let's look. Look at these seats. These are... I don't even know what these are out of, but they're, I don't think they're bolted down. Um, not sure what the plan was here with the, the headliner. Can't say that I'm excited about that. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah. With respect to the folks that I bought it from, they said it was their grandpa's car or their, yeah, grandpa's car. And he was having some health issues when he was working on it. They said he worked on it even in a wheel, while he was in a wheelchair. Uh, until he couldn't work on it anymore and uh, which is unfortunate um, so I'll be I want to be respectful uh, and uh, not be too judgmental about the work that was done on the car is it what I would have done with the car uh, no it's it's not you can see where the shaved door handles were I wish those were still on it to be honest with you 
Uh, I think this primer is hiding a lot of body, uh, a lot of body issues. Uh, it's, I don't know. I'd like to sand that down because mine isn't so great there. Um, I need that door glass on the driver's side. I could use a, I could use this fender, but I don't know that it's much better than mine. Based on, I mean, there should be a. I think there's a seam there that got filled. You can see it's cracking here. Oh, that might have been. I wonder if that was replaced at one point, or if he just painted up to there. Because you can see there's a line, a differenti differentiation. What size tires do we got on this, buddy? What size? These are uh, 14s. 195, 75. 14s. All right, we've got it pulled forward. They seem to work. Good. Lined up. Oh, the exhaust fell off. Yeah, come come over here. Did you put her in park? She gone. What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Question. Cut it off with the sawzall. Okay. Oh, it ripped off the manifold. That. All right. So here's the problem. This came off, and then I wedged it against the trailer, and now it's bent down. So I need to see if I can't it back up like that so here's what we got we've got <laughs> a lovely hung exhaust pipe here that came off up there which I showed you which is hard to see I'm sorry I'm gonna turn you sideways to get in there and then <laughs> the muffler let me show you The muffler is now hanging by nothing right there, but I'm not going to get under the car here. So we're going to cut that pipe out and then I got to get this off. Oh, it's wedged. Oh, it's wedged into the ground. Okay. So I got to get that pipe off to get it above the trailer. See, stuff gets hooked right there where my hair amps are hooked. So I got to take off the exhaust. And then uh, I'm just going to unhook hook it. We're just going to run uncorked from the from that header, from the exhaust up front. And then this is all, all off, which is great. And uh, yeah, so that's where, we're, that's where we're at. What we took out of it, just use the good old metal shears on them, you know. Because all they are are these just hose clamps, basically. Just hose clamps. So we just use the metal shears and they cut through them like butter, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do you guys see that? All the smoke that just blew out of there? Alright, she's gonna drag, she's gonna drag. Alright, come on down! Runs though. Well, it idle. Not it's really. Right now. Kinda. Doesn't really want to. Oh yeah, she's dying. And this thing runs so horribly. <laughs> but it runs. But it runs. 
<laughs> Whoa, the seats are terrible. <laughs> okay, let's see why. Let's see how I can fix this exhaust situation. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure it's not beat up anymore. Definitely. Oh boy. That looks like fun to get to. Well, there it is, folks. It's off the trailer. Runs like a dog. No, that's not a great thing. <laughs> I smashed the exhaust. But it runs. Which wasn't great, probably. Um, yeah, they're more used for skid plates. It does run, ironically. So let's go get a jack so I can get under it and get that exhaust off. But let's put the trailer away first. Yeah, so we sort of wowed the exhaust. So we're just going to absolutely destroy that off of there. Hammer. That was a song there. Nice. Got it. Nice. That's true. That took, that took way too much time. All right, let's go. Shotgun. Can you, do you think you could open it for me? Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Ooh, this is uh, crunchy. <laughs> it's loud. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, you. Hey, it would have been comfortable. Wrong now. Did you break it? Fix it. Let's go for a ride. Well, it's still running. Super slow and loud. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Me too. It's, it's great. It's great. It's a little beater. It might be a beater, but I love it. <laughs> it sounds like a tractor. I know. <laughs> I can't believe it lives. The little slant six is alive. Wow. 
Okay, that's enough. Hold on. Hold on. 67 Plymouth Valiant two-door sedan. All right, give her some rev. Oh, yeah. Six cylinders of fury, baby. Six cylinders of fury. Oh, man. Woo! Look at that little car. Sun's going down. We're having too much fun with the little Valiant. Yeah, she ain't the prettiest thing in the world. Oh, but she's cool. All right, one more time. Yeah, buddy. All right, folks, there you have it. We got the 67 Valiant home. We took it for a little rip around the neighborhood. Seems to run okay. It's smoking like a chimney, which is fine. Uh, it revs up pretty good. It's kind of warming up. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna take some parts from it for my other Valiant, and uh, hopefully we get a V8 in that one. Uh, what should I do with it? What do you think? What would you do with the 67 sedan, uh, two-door sedan Valiant? It's uh, it's kind of a neat little car. What do you think, Finn? She's rowdy, and I want to drive it. And he wants to drive it. Yes. Well, if you wouldn't mind, please like, please uh, subscribe. Welcome to McLovin Garage. My name's Ryan, that's Finley. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time. Gotta love that AVS2 carb. Man, she sounds good. Good old C4. I'm at full throttle here, folks, and I can't keep up with them. <laughs>